Hi guys! So I'm Cynthia and this is Craft Giver. If you're new here, welcome. As always, well, welcome again. Yeah. Today we are going to customize shoes. So today's tutorial is going to be a bow tie clip for your shoes. I've been inspired by Doctor Who because, well, bow ties are cool. And uh, I have also a set of little wings and that's going to be my Valentine's wigs because it's just around the corner and I'll be all geared up to deliver little goodies to my friends next week. I'm using hammer beads this time for this tutorial but it can be used with a lot of different material like felt, fabric, buttons, brochures, whatever you name it and uh, I decided to use that because I like the pixelated uh, effect that it gives to any design. Keep on watching if you want to know how to make these little clips. Okay, so you will need some hammer beads in the color of your choice. So when you buy uh, these beads in the toy store or whatever store, it comes in a bumper set. It has 6,000 beads all color mixed up, which is a pain. So I would actually advise you to sort them out in a container. And it comes with a square pegboard, which is enough for this project. Also, it will come with some iron-on paper or grease-proof paper. And I would advise you to use a pair of tweezers to help you out with your design. So next up, you will need some alligator clips. Uh, this one, unfortunately, are slightly too big to go over my laces. So I got this pack of three bow clips from Pennies for year 50. The alligator clip on it is perfect. Next thing is to find a design uh, for that. Google image or Pinterest is brilliant. Once you find the design that you like, just save it on your computer and then you will just need to follow it accordingly when you bid it on your pegboard. So now once your design is all completed, you can cover it with some iron on paper and iron it with a circular motion. You need to put your iron on the medium setting. Once it's all done in one side and slightly cooled off, you can peel the paper, turn your work around and iron the other side. The more you're going to iron it, the more melted uh, your beads are going to be and uh, the stronger it's going to be. But you don't have to get them all melted. I like to have mine with the hole still showing through on it, but that is your uh, choice really. But it's advised to iron them quite well because otherwise it's going to be a bit too fragile. So now I'm going to remove my uh, fabric bows from the clips and uh, there is a bit of glue there, so I'm going to take it off carefully. If you do that as well, just be careful with it not to cut yourself. Uh, the glue is quite strong, so if you're leaving it on, I don't think it's going to be making such a big difference. Next, you need to glue the clip to your bow. And uh, how you're going to position your clips on it are going to depend on where on the shoe you want the clip to be. I want these red bows to be on the front, on the laces. So I'm going to glue my clip uh, perpendicular to the bow, just like so. If I wanted it but to be on the loop that is on the back of my shoe, I would actually put the clip on the other side. So everything will depend on where you want to put the clip. Just make sure you know where you want it to be because otherwise it's going to be a pain to remove and you might break your design. I'm also using some of these clips to decorate my scarves uh, when I'm going out and I don't want them on my shoes. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this very simple DIY. I'd like to know what design you would put yourself on your shoes to customize them. Also, you can subscribe to know when I am doing a new video. If you like this DIY, you can give me a thumbs up as well. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!